Dozens of protesters descended on the Grant Town power plant in West Virginia on Saturday, April 9th. The coal burning plant has been the center of controversy due to its connection with Senator Joe Manchin and the fact that it burns expensive, inefficient, and dirty coal mixture called gob. When I worked on the strip mines, we threw that away. We covered it up because you can't, it's like, it's like a, if you had a wood burning stove at your home and you wanted to put wet wood in it, you know, it's just not economical. Senator Manchin, who has been a one man blockade against climate legislation, has been cashing in to the tune of $500,000 a year as his company, Enter Systems, is the one selling the plant the dirty coal. Manchin has also used his governmental power to get sweetheart deals for the plant's owners and for himself. Um, and West, West Virginia has never really been led by the people of West Virginia. West Virginia has always been taken from, extracted from. Um, so the money, we're like the most resource rich state and we have no money. So there's, you know, there's a reason those people are in power in, in uh, West Virginia state government and also federal government. By the end of the day, 16 activists were arrested protesting at the plant. It was a national and local effort, with many people from the surrounding towns participating. Yes, I, I have a little message for Senator Joe Manchin. I think he knows what he needs to do. I think he has access to the IPCC report that came out this week. And we're all out here to remind him to take a look at that report and then make his decisions about what he is going to support in Washington based on that report, because that report is science. That report is full of truth and facts. 